Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to combine my friend Tiago Forte's concept of progressive summarization with taking smart notes. But before we get started, I also wanted to let you know that I am giving away the first module of my course, Maximum Output with Mem for free. If you want to learn more and check it out, just click on the link in the description below. Now let's get to the video. The reason I chose this as the topic for this week's video is because one of the students in my MEM course asked how you might combine these two concepts, uh, progressive summarization and taking smart notes. Now, first, let's start with the definition of progressive summarization, which is a term that Tiago Forte coined. So what is progressive summarization? Progressive summarization is capturing knowledge from any source of information so you can get the gist of it from a quick glance. For example, in any book, one sentence usually summarizes the gist of a paragraph, a paragraph gives you the gist of a subhead, and a couple of subheads give you the gist of a chapter. Taking notes this way forces you to be a lot more deliberate about everything that you highlight, underline, or capture, and filter out what's relevant from what's not. Now, what's a smart note? The fundamental premise of a smart note is that elaboration is critical because when you read something, you rewrite that insight in your own words and elaboration increases the odds of remembering. By rewriting something in your own words, you enhance your understanding of it. You actually learn it as opposed to just copying a quote and storing it in a database. Now, both progressive summarization and smart notes make your notes far more valuable than they would be if you were just simply copying and, and storing quotes inside of your database. But Combining them increases the value of your notes even more, and it makes it easier not only to get the gist of any source, but also dive deeper if you need to. So let's talk about how to combine them. The first thing that you're going to do with any source of information, whether it's a book, a podcast transcript, a lecture, is you're going to take a combination of literature notes, reference notes and permanent notes, which I've talked about in my video on how to take smart notes, which I'll link uh, here below. And whichever type of note it is that you take, that becomes your context tag, meaning that the tag that each one of those notes will get is either literature note, reference note, or permanent note. Now, reference notes are literally just the highlights that you copy and store. So that way you have a way to reference or link back to the original source. Literature notes, as I've mentioned, are rewriting whatever insight that is in your own words. And then the permanent note is your original insight that more than likely will arise in the process of taking these notes. So the example that we'll look at in this video is a book. And if you look at any book, each chapter has a central idea or topic that chapter is about. And the book Elements of Choice is about why we make choices that we do and how choice architecture influences them. And you'll see here that the first three chapters are about the following topics. And so one of the things that we're going to do when we do this is to write five to six literature notes for each chapter. And for each literature note, you'll tag it with the topic or the title of that chapter. So for example, if a book has 10 chapters, you'll have 10 different tags for that book one for the topic or the title of each chapter. And this also limits the number of topic tags so that you don't end up with this sort of infinite mess of topic tags. Now, for this to work well, ideally you want the title of each note to be a complete sentence. So the second step is to look through each of the literature notes uh, for each chapter. So if you wanted to summarize the entire book, chances are you didn't need to include all of them. So let's take a look at my notes on the elements of choice. You can see here that I have you know three topics for these different notes. Now, there are two different methods that you can use for a progressive summary. The first is to try to pull each one of these notes together that you want to have. So, for example, I could say, okay, let me use Mem Spotlight. Let me you know pull together all these notes on the plausible paths. I could either use the tags and copy and paste them, or I could use Mem Spotlight and start to put these notes together. Now, the thing that I have found is that it's actually much faster to use the second approach, which is by using bidirectional links. Now, when you use bidirectional links to put all of your literature notes on one page, what you'll find is that you end up automatically 
doing progressive summarization in the process. So let's look at these two versions, right? You can see here that in the first version, I was just copying and pasting or using Mem Spotlight to create a progressive summary of the book Elements of Choice. But if you look here, what you can see, this is another book that I've taken literature notes on, Stephen Kotler's book, The Art of Impossible. And you'll see here that in the process of taking literature notes, I actually end up getting a progressive summarization without actually having to copy and paste the notes or compile them all together. Now, obviously, this is one of those do as I say, not as I've done here, because in certain cases, I actually didn't write each of these notes in complete sentences. But you can see here that just by going through all of these literature notes, I can summarize Stephen Kotler's book pretty quickly. The other thing that I could do if I wanted to is I can actually do a deep dive into each note. And so basically by taking your smart notes all on one page using bidirectional links the way I have here, you can progressively summarize a book. And then what you can go back and do is you can just copy these notes into each individual note and suddenly you have a progressive summary of the entire book. So give it a try when you're taking notes on the next book that you've read. And also one thing I realized is that I've just been coming up with these ideas on my own. And I know there are probably certain topics that you might want me to cover. So I've actually included a form in the description below where you can submit requests for topics that you'd like me to cover in future videos. Hopefully you found this useful. And as always, feel free to ask questions or leave them in the comments below.